Hi, I'm Wes Colson from Colson Elder Law, proudly serving clients throughout the St. Louis metropolitan area and beyond. I hope you enjoy the Elder Law and Estate Planning video you're about to watch. We think we can help people best when they're aware of the types of situations they need help with and understand that there's help available and that we're happy to provide it. I hope you enjoy. As you may know, at the end of 2019, Congress passed and the president signed into law a law called the SECURE Act. And basically what it does, it ends stretch IRAs in favor of a requirement that if somebody inherits an IRA other than a spouse and a special needs person, they have to pull all that money out within 10 years. Well, people think of that in terms of the next generation, but there's also something really important there and actually was even before with a married couple who have a significant amount of IRAs. Um, important bit of advice is that in the year in which the first spouse dies, you should sit down and talk with your tax professional to see whether the surviving spouse should be taking a large IRA distribution in that year. Why would you want to do that? Well, because if you look at the tax brackets and exemptions, they're twice as big until you get into the way high tax brackets for a married couple as they are for a single taxpayer. And likewise, the exemption is twice as big for a married couple. So basically, the year in which somebody dies, you can still file that married tax return, and it's your last best chance to pull money out of the IRA at a rate that's probably lower than those same distributions in later years. And in most cases, it's gonna be at a lower rate if you're retired and on a fixed income then your children or other beneficiaries are going to have to pay on those IRAs after they inherit them. Thanks.